Today, I just kind of wanted to walk you through as your standard orders and how that works and what I do get and what I got this time. Uh, we've been ordering from Azure for about two years, give or take. Um, and then also I was going to throw in some things that I don't get from Azure and I actually get at Aldi because they are cheaper. But I'm going to start with our frozen stuff. Generally speaking, I cook from scratch and I feel like a while, like when I started to learn, everyone said, oh, like don't cook from scratch. It's more expensive. It's just cheaper to buy stuff pre-made. But I actually don't find that to be true anymore. There's been seasons where we've gone back and bought, you know, a lot of processed foods and not to say that we don't buy any nowadays. When we were eating only processed foods for like a couple weeks when we were moving, <laughs> I couldn't believe how much we spent and then also not to mention how horrible we felt the whole time we were eating like that. With cooking from scratch though, sometimes, you know, you just realize you don't have the time or the energy to do it. I'm trying to build things into our pantry that are quick and easy meals to fix. So I've got some stuff like these organic cottage fries and the only ingredient is potatoes. And then I also got this in the hash brown style, which could be easily used for a dinner side or also like an easy breakfast. And then along with our other frozen stuff, so I can put this away. This is an example of something I had in my cart at Azure and then realized I could get it for much cheaper at Aldi. And so what I do is because I like to buy it in bulk at Azure, if there's something that I find cheaper at Aldi, I just go ahead and buy as many as I would. And that way I have it on hand because, I don't know, it just makes it easier and cheaper to not be going to the store as frequently. I got that. Another thing I get, from Azure is this bee pollen. Now I'm sure if you could find it locally, that'd be better, but this is a great source of copper. And I just put it in smoothies and our protein bowls. Another great source of copper is actually chlorophyll and I was running out of my Mary Ruth stuff, but actually there was like a shortage for a while. I guess there was like some viral TikToks. And so I was finally able to get this from Azure in bulk. You can also get a flavor, but I just mix this into lemon water and it's delicious. Next, well, I will start with my staple is this block of cheese. We get the raw cheddar. I don't get the organic just because I find that this is what we can afford at this point. And it, I know it comes from a good farm and I know it's expensive to be an organic farm. But basically what I do is cut these into, let's say one ounce squares. And then these I will take out for dinner and shred basically one of these at a time. And then whatever I don't use, I'll put in a container. This has been like much easier <laughs> way to, to manage the block of cheese. When I do have to buy regular cheese, we just are like, Ugh, this isn't, this isn't it. <laughs> uh, and then again, so Azure has butter, but I've found that Aldi has this organic salted butter that works great. We do like to make our own butter, but we haven't been able to get enough milk from our co-op recently. And so also, this is a first for me, but I got this probiotic cream cheese, which does look like a lot to utilize before, I think, December. But with the holidays coming up, we'll be baking a lot. And I mean, if I have to make some more sourdough bagels, you know, to use it up, then it's not too bad. Our next cold items, I did go ahead and get some grapes, which is the first time I've actually bought fruit from them. And I think they look pretty good. I was excited because we don't ever have access to organic grapes. And these are actually the flame, which is the same um, type of grape that I get for raisins. And then I got some onions as well, because those will keep for a while. And then over here I have a huge bag of these red organic beets. And what I do with these is actually make a beet kvass. So that's essentially like a fermented um, beverage. It's really good to drink first thing in the morning. It's full of minerals and um, it can help with like your thyroid function as well. Okay, so I got all my frozen and my cold stuff put away and we're gonna go through dry goods. I will say with Azure, your like most affordable options are things that are gonna be cheaper than the drive market, for example, are gonna be things A, that you buy in bulk. So the more bulk you can buy, the better. And then dry goods, things that you would use to cook from scratch. If you're into processed foods or like snacky items, then I think something like Thrive Market is really better. And that's just from like the things that I've done price comparisons on. And I would say some of the staples are probably comparable to Thrive. There is like a shipping fee that you share with Azure. 
But that's something that I really like about Azure from a sustainability standpoint. You are essentially going in with a group of people and like sharing that shipping cost and then the truck is only bringing things that you guys have purchased. For me, I think this is just a great way to get the things that I need conveniently, but also it's kind of been fun to go to the Azure Drops. Basically how it works, if you aren't familiar, you sign up for a location that's close to you and there's a coordinator that runs the drop. It like ours has always been in like a Walmart parking lot or just some random parking lot <laughs> that's available. Everyone just meets there and the truck literally pulls in, like the semi pulls in and like everyone helps unload the truck and we put it all in piles by your name and then you just load up your pile and you're good to go. I've been able to meet a lot of like-minded people. I know for me it was the first time I ever heard anyone talk about home birth in public and I was like, what? <laughs> Is that a home birther? Uh, I really enjoyed that aspect of it too, even though I'm really hermity and a uh, homebody. That being said, what else I got was some coconut cream. I couldn't believe this was such a good price. And I love this for some of my recipes when I don't want to use like my raw milk. Like right now we have a little bit of a shortage. So the coconut milk is just a great option to have on hand. I think it's much better than any other non-dairy milk alternatives. I also got this organic jojoba oil and this is a cold pressed. So that's like one of the best kinds that you can get. That's all I use for my face to take my makeup off and it's like a moisturizer and stuff too. And then of course I got coconut oil. I meant to get like the bigger size, but that's the thing. I guess I didn't pay attention to the ounces. I got a huge thing of jasmine rice, which we go through quite a bit. I was out of black tea for our kombucha, and so I went ahead and ordered a bunch of this. I'm sure loose leaf would be better, but this is uh, great for us for right now. I got a whole case of this organic butternut squash. So this is cheaper than buying pumpkin, and it is a one-to-one -one substitute. So that's why I went with the butternut squash. You just use it like pumpkin. And then I also got a crate of these diced tomatoes. I do prefer to buy the tomatoes in glass, but again, you know, we have to be mindful of what we can afford at the time and what makes sense. When I was looking for some other tomato products, I compared to what Aldi has, and I found like, these pasta sauces and the marinara sauce were only like a couple bucks a piece, and so I just stocked up on those. And then same with the ketchup. Uh, they have or organic ketchup at Aldi, and it doesn't come from concentrate. So I think it's a pretty good one from the stuff that I currently know today. I may change my mind and decide that $10 is worth a bottle of ketchup, but for right now, <laughs> they're like $2 or something. And then while we're here, I also get all of my bone broth from here because I don't always have access to full chickens. Like our, our local place has been out of them. And so I haven't been able to make my own broth. And this is just nice to have on hand. Occasionally I get pasta from Azure, but lately I've been just getting it from Aldi again. I found that their prices are really affordable. And if you eat as much as my husband, then <laughs> it's nice to have. <laughs> but I'm sure like the Einkorn and stuff is better. Whatever. So I always get a bag of flour. We bake a lot and so I go through a lot of flour and sometimes it's unavailable. So I just recommend that. And then this time I did get some beans. So I got kidney and then I got a, a four things of black beans. For some reason this price was better for the packs of four versus like one giant bag. And my plan, if uh, I can convince Tyson to let me get a canner, is get these canned and start practicing canning for the summer. Because our plan is to have a huge garden, summer 2023 and I know I'm going to be overwhelmed with like harvest and stuff, so I want to try to start learning those skills now. And then another easy put together meal, which we actually tried out last night, is these rice ramen. They're definitely more expensive than buying regular ramen, but the only ingredients are organic brown rice flour and I don't know how you say it, organic millet or Malay flour. Uh, and then I think this is the last thing I haven't mentioned is uh, apple cider vinegar. This isn't that expensive on Azure, but you can also get this at Aldi, organic with the mother, and it comes in a glass bottle. I guess that's about it, guys. So if you have any questions about Azure, please let me know. I'll put a referral link down in the description box. 
So if you are interested in using Azure, please use the link. It definitely helps support our family. I know it's definitely like a different experience if you're used to standard grocery store or getting things delivered to your house, but we love it. We don't use it every month. It kind of just varies because usually I place a pretty large order. So I don't like to do that every month because then I don't have any leftover money for the grocery budget, but <laughs> typically it works out to do every few months or so with how we're slowly building our pantry. When you cook from scratch, you know, it's nice to just have tons of different staples. And so you have options. It's kind of like just shopping your pantry each week, which I'm still learning, but it gets easier and easier as I slowly add uh, bulk items. And definitely don't feel like you have to do it all at once because that's one thing I've learned. It's expensive if you were just to go out and then everything runs out at the same time. So just slowly start to buy, you know, several ketchups at a time or whatever. And before you know it, you'll have a huge pantry full of goodness, uh, ready to cook from scratch. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out.